Hello, Malcolm. Hello, everyone else. I kind of hit record before I was totally, like, all set for the camera there. Well, oh, and have I got my desktop volume on? Yeah, I'm an idiot. There, kill that. Probably causing some echo, or maybe not. I've turned down my own headphones. Why don't I shut up? No, I can't. I'm here to talk. Awesome. As the game says right here, good, good. So we're here at the first fortification that was completed. Um, there has been a fair amount of development since the last time we visited the colony. I kind of got going and going and going and going and nothing was ever finished, right? And finally I was like, you know, I better get this out here. This colony is supposed to be for public consumption. Quit hogging it up and playing it all yourself. So we built these four fortifications and we powered them up. And it's pretty close. This one's close to the edge of the map. Edge of the map's right up there, so, and, you know, it's pretty close to it. And the reason we're here at this one is it worked. We had someone call for help, and orbital god that I am. Well, dev mode's really new to me, and so it's extra fun for me, basically. But I've been trying not to do anything ridiculous or stupid. So I mostly mess with the weather. And I had kind of jammed on. I was trying for colder and colder weather, but it's spring, so I seen what I could do because I managed to get her down to almost 160 below Celsius in the uh, winter so I thought how hard can I do spring and I stacked two volcanic winters which I was like am I gonna break the game didn't break the game and I threw a cold snap in between them it's not that cold it's only 107 below that's like mild here that's mild so it's a mild it's snowing uh, we might as well start time let that snow fall and so, yeah, we had a person call for help, and they came in wearing, like, a threadbare hyperweave jacket and, you know, the whole nine yards. They got nothing. And we were able to grab them, direct them into here, and get them to put on the clothing. We're still waiting for a new toque to be delivered out here, because these are considered important storage piles, and they each hold a single item of clothing, just a wardrobe to get you to the place. It worked. She got her wardrobe headed in. Pirates were chasing her, and we just let them because the weather was so cold. A couple of them really had gear for it, and the rest of them were pretty well equipped, but they decided to walk all the way around. Instead of attacking this fortification, they decided to walk all the way around, all the way around. See, we got some other ones up. And all the way around, and then they came walking in here. And by then, they were getting fairly chilly. Uh, they were still game, and they got in here and they started breaking things, and we let them. We stayed in the colony. I didn't tell anyone not to go out of the colony. I was just like, you know, I'll just handle this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get through it. There were a few of them. I think there were five or six of them were still on wimpy level. Um, so they broke a couple wind turbines here, which knocks out like a third of our energy input. So I was like, oh, that's not good. But we've got good battery power, and there was still some power online, so we're all right. And, yeah, they eventually gave up and we had to send out Lilu to kill one. Because he couldn't find his way out and he started breaking all this stuff. He First he started breaking this and then he started trying to get his way out through here. So I just sent Lilu up. She stood point blank range behind him and shot him in the back of the head, basically. Pop! Turned out that was Novak, so... Uh, why is she considered lying down? The other ones are all upright. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll talk about Novak in a minute. But why is she down like that? I don't see... Like, she's just counted as sleeping. Why has she got a strip button on her? What just happened? Is she dead? Oh, no, she's being fed. Oh, dear God. No, Gizmo's just in there eating. No, he's feeding her, right? Feeding berries to Novak. So she's considered sick right now, basically, because... Well, yeah, we'll get to her in a second. Yeah, I'll tear your eyes off there. I tore my own eyes off. Damn, I'm getting sore eyes again. I, that went away for a few days. I was hoping it would stay away. So I got that built, powered it, and we built our usual chain of Christmas lights, demonic Christmas lights, so you can find your way, because it's dark, man. It's dark 23% here right now, and it can be a lot darker. And then we built another one the same out here. Had to double up the walls to get one heater to keep them warm in really cold weather. That's one reason I did the ultra cold test. Why have we got extra crap in here? I don't, don't understand. There's no storage area under here, folks. 
Oh, someone came in here, changed their pants, and didn't carry them back. It'll get taken care of. Yeah, so we doubled up the back wall as well because it just wasn't staying warm. But it's warm. It's fairly well armored. It'll keep them out for long enough for us to deploy a team and get ready anyways. While the new colonists can either hide in there or run for it from the other side. You know, pretty good stuff. And we're started on this one, which is costing more. And I noticed we were running out of granite. Um, we got... Actually, we've got a fair bit of it now. That's granite, yeah, 2161. Um, but I had to turn all the artists off granite and leave them on slate, and they've already chowed, like, 3,000 slate into 1,600 slate. Oh, some of it's unstored. Right, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so we're going to finish another one of those things here. I guess the safe room will probably be here, something like that. And this time, with this structure, well, what I really should have done is given the safe room a back exit of its own. But there's no point with that doubled up wall, actually, is there? And I'm going to have to double up the wall on this one, too. So, well, we'll work it out. In principle, it works, whatever the tuning details are. We've got the power laid out to there, and we've got our Christmas lights. And then we've got to do this one. And then we've got to do down here, we're going to do this one. And that gives people somewhere safe and warm to go that's close to the edge of the map, or relatively. They could get in trouble if they started, like, way up here. They could end up with a bad time. But, uh, meh. It's, it's the best we can do. We're not fortifying way out there, and we're not bringing power way out there. It's just too much to ask for the occasional colonist. So is Novak going to be alright again in a minute after she's done being fed berries? So Novak, she came running, pursued by pirates. One of the pirates was her lover, which is, why is she still considered down? Strip? What's going on? Well, I hope she's not broken and dead or something. We're going to find out in the morning. I don't understand it. Let's check her needs bar. Right, so Novak, one of her lovers was following her. That was the one Lilu shot in the back of the head. Um, we're getting to all this other stuff I built soon, too. So her wake-up's empty. Uh, so she's got wake-up withdrawal minus 35. I tried to get all the little bonuses on her I could. Uh, she's got our standard work pattern, but everyone's joy-filled. We got lots of joy time. Uh, spacious interior, and we got her bedroom with a really nice masterwork sculpture, even though it's not a colony history one. It's a seal wearing a cook's shirt, which is cool. I like a seal wearing a cook's shirt. I'm bring the volume down a nudge too loud. Um, so we gave her all the bonuses we could, and like everyone else, she has a smoke when she doesn't feel good. Her mood's high. I don't understand it. We'll turn time up a bit. So I got a lot of steel, oh thank god. We dug all this stuff out and found no steel. Like, we dug this out and found two steel, and then we dug this out and no steel. Sorry, I should go closer, but we dug out this massive entertainment room, which is totally unfinished, basically. But you can see the general idea. Unfortunately, this ancient danger room ended up intruding on my dig plan for it, so I'm going to have to jither around. But I plan to line it with walling anyway. That's why I dug these extra wonkles for heaters and stuff. Because so I'm going to line it all up with walling anyway, I think. Uh, we'll see how it all works out. So I'm not doing it yet. Um, we dug some fresh storage in another um, small workroom here, and that's worked out great. The dogs are just packing this storage with rice, which is awesome. Uh, we got food storage there. They can put, like, I think they can put meat in there, but I don't know. No, I took meat out of there. They can put, like, milk in there or something. I don't know. All the rest of it goes in here, and that's working wonderfully. We got our four regular food balls just cranking along. Gizmo's got his work cut out for him. So we're not engaging this food ball. It's emergencies only. The farm went out of control. There were chickens everywhere. I just couldn't stand it. I murdered every chicken, all of them, and I bought a pair of iguanas. So now we got cows, which are breeding apace, which is awesome. Huskies, uh, alpaca, rabbit and iguanas and the iguanas are now breeding like little fiends too at first they were really slow like it took them ages to breed i've readjusted and simplified all those complex zones because now i don't have chickens to handle 
and we're not eating or storing iguana eggs, so they just lie here and hatch, and the huskies don't haul them. So everything's been simplified right down in here. We just have the colonists forbidden from the feed pile, which we can expand if we need to. The forbidden zone goes out to there, but it makes the huskies haul too much, so we're going to watch food levels and see how we can do. And when we get low on rice, um, Novak needs rescue. She had wake up on her. Are you kidding me? Uh, Gizmo, he's rescuing Novak because he's awake and he's close by. Okay, and he's not a bad doctor either. Somebody has to get out of bed. Red is up and he's playing chess. Red, I'm going to need you to haul that wake up before Fallow eats it because Fallow has a chemical interest. So Novak had a doobie, which is fine, and a bunch of wake up on her. And she isn't well. Uh, let's check her health here. Holy smokes. Wake up addiction. Whole body, wake up addiction. Withdrawal, 14%. Consciousness, minus 50%. Manipulation, minus 25%. Moving, minus 20%. Tiredness, times 130%. 130%. Stoned on smoke leaf gives her pain, minus 20. Consciousness, minus 30. Moving, minus 30. And hunger by 130. That's pretty stiff penalty. I think this guy's really not into drugs. But, uh, whatever. So she's unconscious because she has 80% consciousness minus due to her massive drug use. Uh, she'll be fine as soon as she's not high on smoke leaf. Alright. Alright, so Gizmo rescue her and we got Red coming in to take care of that wake up and we'll get him to burn it. So, yeah, I went without steel forever. We dug everywhere and found no steel. We even dug that giant storage out there and found no steel. And then we got traders. We got traders, so happy, and then a couple of them had major steel, and then another one came and had more steel, and so I was able to build out this massive hospital, which was so expensive. I just want to scream when I think about what the colony had to spend on this and how long they had to work to get all this stuff. Even these TVs were painful to place, but look at that, that tube TV, we researched these. That tube TV lights up those beds, that tube TV, etc, etc. Isn't that cool? So they can watch TV in bed, because the game allows them to watch TV in the hospital. We're slowly getting some meds stacked in here, um, making it eight all our meds. We actually spent silver and bought some meds, like we were bad off, because it takes 10 meds for each hospital bed. Now I got a slate plant pot here with a daylily in it, and I'm wondering if the hospital should have a rose. The crematorium has a rose, and anyone who gets married gets a rose. Um, so is it appropriate for a hospital to have a rose? I think it probably is, because there's only two types of plant you can have, so we gotta, we're going to put a rose in that. It just grows at 29%, even though it's beside a lot of lights. So I mixed blue and white lighting together. Eat one's blue, one's white, and it just looks weird. But I decided I liked the look, and I ended up adding a light over here, because I couldn't get the blue right over here. I still can't get it quite the same as the others. Whatevs, it's all good. And then the other hospital will stay in play. Um, why have I got time off, you know, seriously? Uh, the other hospital will stay in play because we're probably going to need it. Uh, and that can go back to being prisoners and medical. Um, because, yeah, Novak had to sleep there. Oh, yeah, she's getting rescued. Oh, and dude's hauling Gazuti. Okay, he's on his way, and Giz has her in bed. Does she need treatment? No. Oh, he's doctoring her right now. So I'm going to see what she gets treated for, but I really want to see about Red, too. What's he doing? Oh, he's just feeding her. Okay. Okay, so let's get Red. He's just feeding her, so it's not an issue. Let's bring Red up here, and we'll get him to burn this really fast here. Up in here, we put a components bench in, because we had suddenly had steel everywhere. Okay, Red, you're going to prioritize cremating at Slate Electric Crematorium, and you're just going to burn that stuff off. So we put in a component assembly bench. We've got it set to start making components if we fall below 250. We bought a ton, so we're at 557. That'll go down like 60. Components cost a fair bit of steel. Good thing we have some steel. Uh, these are personal shields at 100%. Wow. I could allow people to wear those. I don't know if we're even storing those. Let's see if someone can haul them or not. 
Yeah, no, they can get hauled, so we're storing them. We'll just let them get put away. So yeah, we crammed one final thing into that workroom. That looks okay. It's a mess in there now. Got steel all over the floor, meds all over the floor, plastic all over the floor. Yeah, mechanoids showed up. Those we had to shoot. We made it. We're doing fine, actually. I haven't had to be, like, the Thunder God or anything. They're doing fine. This cold weather is great, especially because I love just making it cold all the time, so it's sort of like a standing weapon against the enemies. Everything's producing along fine. Food's in overdrive because we had that farm going crazy and it was eating up way too much stuff. Oh, Novak started a sculpture before we fixed her work priorities. I'm going to have to get rid of that sculpture because she is not an artist and she doesn't like art. Um, so she's off art. She actually has a really simple... Oh, a cow is pregnant. Nice, man. We're churning them out. Soon we'll be able to slaughter our beef. We'll slaughter us a beef. Oh, we love the animal killing, because you notice there's no fine meals made, and we're set to make 25 if we can. I guess milk just doesn't make very many of them yet, because we don't have a huge herd of cows yet. We have a lot of people. Oh, look, the baby's another... Uh, oh, that's that's a new baby from another time. I don't even know about that baby. Good, it's a cow, not a bull. Still got our bull. He's six, so he's got some years in him unless something happens. Another husky had a heart attack. Homeboy, who had his paw shot off. He's the same age as Madame. Actually, he might even be older. Oh yeah, and let's see if we can train any more huskies to haul yet. Uh, yes, Humberto is big enough to haul. And I found out how to set them not to go outside with people. It's right here in front of my face, setting them not to go outside with people. I just didn't really get it, so... I got it. Ooh, we got a lot of iguanas. Well, we're going to be eating barbecued iguana. That's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to have iguana skin. I guess we'll make shirts out of it for the mo, just like we do with the snow hair leather and any other leather we get. But I might save some up and make something special out of it. Maybe some armchairs. So Colony Tour got sparked because Novak showed up. And one of the ways we tried to get her a plus was, yeah, making a nice room. So we got a masterwork sculpture. And luckily, we got a masterwork bed. Sarai came in and popped that off. And I checked it. It was like, masterwork? Nice, dude. Let's save our game. It's always a good idea to save your game. We'll speed time up a little, let the snow fall faster. So that's a basic tour of what we've done. We dug this monster storage out here, too. We just tore this apart. I really just wanted steel. But I tried the f smooth flooring tool for the first time. So instead of putting flooring in, I had them actually grind it all smooth in here. And it took a ton of work, but no materials. And I realized it was actually a really good way to level up your constructors. Because they don't have to spend anything and they work like dogs at it and they just crank experience doing it. So yeah. So we made this storage for stone blocks, steel, plasteel, and a couple other things. Jade goes in here. Um, I didn't organize it, so of course it's a mess. I, if I made like a separate storage boxes for each of these types of items then it wouldn't be a mess. But then I wouldn't know where I was going to run out of space and I'd have to readjust them. We got the doors held open, but we did put doors on it. It gives people something to attack. These last pirates, they just wandered around randomly attacking stuff. And although, you know, they did some fairly unpleasant damage breaking the power chain there. Oh, you know, I could have a double connected power chain just by running some cable through this puppy. I don't think I will. It's not worth it. We can survive. Uh, Novak's back on her feet. Let's check her health. So she's got wake up 16% withdrawal, so she's really beat down. But uh, her mood's cranking good. And her lover, Svegar, died. My lover died. I'm so alone, and it goes on for like a season and change, which is a bit, a bit downer. But, uh, well, good for Novak to make it. She, she'll fit in fine. She has a really simple work profile. She doesn't like that much stuff, but she's a good doctor, which is awesome. She's a 10 on the doctoring scale, so we put her straight to that. She likes social, so we put her to be a warden if we ever get a prisoner. We've had like one prisoner and recruited him. It was Jerry. He was a space colonist crash. We had to imprison him and to recruit him. Jerry, the 82-year-old or 83 or whatever he is now. Uh, why have I got her cooking? Oh, she's got high cooking skills. Uh, I don't even... Re oh, no, that's handling. That's why. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, she likes animals, and she's good at them, so she's helping me out with the animal handling. Uh, plant cut everyone gets in case we do emergency harvests. We haven't had to yet. Food's, food's been solid. 
Um, we, we got on food hard at the beginning and we invested most of our expansion power into food, you know, like most of the steel and stuff we've burned has been getting electrical horsepower and hydro bins. And we got her hauling and doing minor cleaning. She doesn't like research, so she's not doing it. So she has a really simple work profile, and that's going to make her handy, because right now we have a lot of extra hauling. I'm clearing out this area where the stone blocks used to be stored, because I hate the mess. Cleaning that up, get some clean snow there. We've got this extra steel still getting hauled in. Just incredible. That was the third trader that had steel. We've got an absolute poop ton of steel. It's incredible. Oh, we actually have some silver, too. Man, we've been up and down on the silver, but... Uh, sculptures sure help, and it looks like we've got another load of them to sell, so we could probably buy some stuff. We avoided buying a few things, like there was some decently priced neutroamines and stuff that we skipped. Because traders aren't that frequent. You know, I swear the place has a reputation or something, because they do come. And man, it's a hole in the wall. Although I guess from orbit, the pole of a planet is just like any other part of the planet. We can't get land traders at all. It's uh, working pretty well. And yeah, that food ball just sits there freezing inside. And uh, what is it inside there? Indoor, uh, birder, 59 below in there. Everything else is comfortably holding its temperatures. The animal room is nice and warm. Uh, during the super cold test where we were like 156 and went even a little below for a second, um, three campfires kept this warm enough for the eggs not to spoil, but just barely. And that was during a... Um, it's rare but not too rare, we get a solar flare and it knocks everything out. So three campfires keeps this whole farm okay. Just, you know, it came down low, but it didn't get to low enough to wreck the eggs. I was quite thankful because that was when our first batch of eggs was in. So, yeah, the rec room here. Well, we've got a mega screen TV. Woo, combat supplier. You see what I mean? Dealer consortium. Okay, well, Min. Uh, what time is it? It's 2 in the morning. Min, I'm sorry, Min, but you are our social star. So you're in here. Whoa, it's dirty in here. Oh, I've got Jerry cranked up on hauling, so maybe we're getting a little behind on our janitorial. I don't like to see that dirt on the floor. That's not cool. So what do these guys got? Their combat supplier. They got some overpriced components. We're going to hold off. We don't have much steel to blow. They got some decently priced medicine. I'm almost tempted. We're having a hard time keeping up, but I think I'm going to hold. Oh... It's twenty dollars each for thirty-six of them. That's really no. We can't do that. Like even and buying a few of them doesn't attract me. You know. Oh, we've got some tools off the guys we killed. A plasteel knife sells for thirty-eight bucks. Another plasteel knife sells for ninety-four bucks. And now we got some clothing. Is any of it worn out? Because I'm not putting load on the tailors anymore. I'm just like, wow, are we ever worked to the bone around here? So we got a parka down to 70, and it's worth a fortune because it's excellent. So we're going to sell that. That's nice. Oh, we got a hyperweave jacket. That's worth a fortune. We don't wear them. So, yeah. We got a worn out toque. That's worth 100 bucks. That's a nice thing about making stuff out of alpaca wool. People are willing to pay for alpaca, it's nice wool. So we're making 2,000 credits, so we could technically pick up their medicine. We still make 1,000 credits, and what if we pick up their badly priced components? We still make 800 credits. I am down. That means we're going to need that junk hauled, and that means, Gizmo, you're awake. So you're going to grab those meds, bud. And Gorilla, you're resting... You're going back to bed, Valdez. You're sowing a rice plant. You're a good person, Valdez. Grab those components for me. And that's all we need to grab. Oh, the components are actually roofed. We can cancel that. And she can go back to what she was doing. Because those are roofed. They won't deteriorate there. The wood pile's roofed. And I'm keeping the wood pile because it's just... We had it when we first started and we were desperately scrambling. And I like still having it. it pleases me. We were building things out of wood, man. We were rough up. It's, a, it's amazing to come this far. Husky got food poisoning. It's amazing to come this far and look back and be like, man, we built the door out of wood. We built an extra door out of wood trying to keep the cold out so we could cook in here, basically. That's how bad it was at first. Like, two turbines up and, like, trying to put more and more heaters in, looking at the battery being like, that battery's not going to last through the night and it's very cold outside. It was awesome. 
Now we're doing solid. We actually survived problems. The battery system has been expanded, as you can see. We got three battery bays. But uh, it's enough for now. I've never seen them go below 50%. And I don't want to add more because it just raises the amount of fire and explosion you get. It's Cummings cooking away. Minor break risk. That'll be Novak. I'm surprised she's only minor. She's relaxing socially. Novak, you are smart. And she's heading to the nice room to do it. So this should really help with her minor break risk. because. So we'll check her needs bar. Here she is. Attended party, 15. That'll wear off soon. That party was a little while ago. Very comfortable. That'll wear off soon. She's not sitting on anything. Oh, she's about to sit on something comfortable. Joy filled. That should hold. Spacious interior. She's about to get that back on. Impressive bedroom. That stays for good. Feeling good. That'll fail on us. Eight without table, minus three. We could have avoided that. There's a lot of tables in here. Had to rebuff Jerry. Jerry, come on. Someone I don't like tried to romance me. Six hours of that. Pessimist minus six, she's stuck with that. Her lover died, she's stuck with that. Wake up withdrawal, she's stuck with that. It says on her bar here, I feel all fuzzy and unfocused. Aw. Yeah, I bet. She was a sailor. Oh, yeah, we should, you know, I never read her character description, and I think she's the first sailor I've ever had. So, she's a medical assistant as a child. So, she was born, Novak was born during a catastrophic war in which both sides used napalm extensively. She grew up helping her parents in an infirmary, treating the cascade of horrific burns from the battlefield. She was left with a lifelong fear of fire. Medicine plus five and firefighting disabled. Adulthood, a sailor. Novak traversed the oceans on Yerg. Journeys of exploration, seeking out plant and animal specimens from exotic places and occasionally fending off pirates. She loved the sea so much that she refused to do all but the barest minimum of work on land, except to sell the treasures she collected. Melee plus four, social plus four, animals plus four, cooking, constructing, growing, mining, smithing, tailoring, and crafting are disabled. She's a jogger, so that's a nice trait. She's fast. She's a pessimist. Uh, Novak tends to look on the bad side of life, so permanent minus six. And she's a brawler. She likes to fight up close and personal. Her accuracy is greatly increased in melee combat, but she'll be very unhappy if asked to carry a ranged weapon. Oh, she's got 175% bonus on melee hit chance. That's cool. We got a couple other brawlers, and oh yeah, I was going to say Red took care of business. One of those pirates was here bashing to come in. I didn't know they were because I was watching one of the ones killing the wind turbine. And Red was here with his thrumbo horn here. Thrumbo horn, a thrumbo's horn. It's razor sharp, very hard, and priceless in most markets. This is a true trophy. Disabled red, it's not drafted. But it's not disabled when someone messes with him. He opened up the door, the guy was there, out came the thrumbo horn. It was like two, three. I, I saw Red's um, little sword symbol to show he was fighting. Ah, Fallow's binging on Smoke Leaf. He does it weekly. I'm okay with it. He just smokes when it goes and lies down, essentially. So yeah, Red took care of business mighty sharp. He got nicked by the guy's plasteel knife, just cut on the arm, and oh, dude was dead and down, like gut stabbed extreme. Here's our welcoming snowman, 50 out of 50. Unless I put a lot of heaters in here, it would never get warm enough. It's 39 below in there. So we got a welcoming snowman in there, unless I deconstruct it. Hey, they've built a number. Sorry for the yawning. God, it's not like I'm bored with the game. I hope you're not, because I love this game. It is a blast. The music is relaxing and everyone's working away. Sarai's making a parka, Min's making a sculpture. I've only got them making small ones. I should try a large one. We've got some really skilled artists. We've got 43 meds on the floor that haven't been hauled. A bunch of other junk that hasn't been hauled. They got too much extra hauling to do. They're slowly stuffing this mega storeroom. That's why the doors are held open to try to save them a work cycle or so. I guess I could hold these front doors open, no harm in it. Uh, actually there is. When those pirates showed, that front door was all that was between us and the pirate being at this front door. Um, yeah, I know, but I like security, right? Those aren't very strong doors that break pretty fast. Oh, actually, those are granite. That one's just steel, they go down pretty quick. So granite has a 425 hit points and the steel has 250 hit points. That's why I'm thinking that when I finally breach this ancient danger room, which I need to, I need the space now, I'm going to build plasteel auto turrets and just spankle them all over the place and hope they take care of any trouble emanating from there. I'll just have someone breach it and run. 
and they'll go through multiple doors. We'll install some extra doors to make gun chambers basically all the way down here. We'll keep everyone out by forbidding some doors, then the huskies won't come in or anything, because they won't go through a forbid door, I don't think, unless they're already on that path track. So yeah, we'll we'll try that out, see how it goes. Or we can restrict all the animals to the barn area. Actually, yeah, we have an animal area that's simply the barn. We can just restrict all animals to it and then re-area them afterwards. It's not hard. Okay. I'm yawning again. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. So we have a new colonist who is going through withdrawal. And I haven't armed her for that reason, because if this gets really, really bad for her... Because um, that minus 35, oh yeah, her mood's not doing well. She's going to be at extreme break soon. Uh, but we're not taking her off her work schedule or anything. We're just going to, if she breaks, she breaks. If she falls down from exhaustion, broken. She falls down from exhaustion, broken. It's only 77 below out, and she's got gear on, and thank God they stopped them ripping their clothes off when they have emotional breaks now, because before, before this patch, or this version, rather, of the game, they always tore all their clothing off while they wandered around, and they always wandered outside. You could guarantee it. So everyone would die if they broke. Novak is about to go bam. And Novak, I've got an idea. Why don't you grab that ronker there and puff it down. Is she high? No, she's not high, so... And she's allowed to smoke if she's below mood level, so... Novak, you're even doing this on Doctor's Order schedule, which will give you asthma and... Oh. That's why you don't have Novak smoke while she's going through withdrawal. She'll pass out. Oh, the poor thing. She's really not feeling well. May, could you rescue Novak? Thank you. Just pop her in the nice warm hospital and she can lie there. That TV lights up her bed so she's feeling a little bit like I believe she is now 20% conscious. Let's just check. Health, consciousness, 20%. So she can probably enjoy the TV. Oh, here's what it's... This is cool. So... Oh, no. If they beat each other to death, I'm going to be so mad. You get worried about this, because they can. They can beat each other to death. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not even saved near here. Oh, thank God. Okay, both of you are down. Get in hospital, you two toads. Oh, what are their injuries, by the way? I should check. They could have bad injuries. Bruce, bruise, bruise, crack. Bruce, bruise, bruise, crack, bruise. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. So I was going to get here to this. Okay, I am going to save, because everyone's okay. I love a hospital full of friendly people. And if you go to info on the tube TV, uh, tube television, a cathode ray tube display for showing moving pictures with sound. Even on the rim worlds, there is often an old transmitter running something at least marginally interesting. And that just makes you think of like they're watching frickin' PBS of a broken down colony world that failed. There's enough equipment somewhere that someone's got it going. Or maybe an AI is sitting there running Shakespeare plays or something, you know? I love it. This game is so full of detail. Hey, that looks kind of funny with the carpet. I decided to carpet the doorways. Let's not get funky. So here comes all our medical treatment. That is awesome. Bam, bam, bam. Somebody got 100% treatment out of that. That's pretty impressive. Nice. So everyone's down. We'll try not to give Novak anything more to smoke until she feels better. Here's the base with all its massive lighting from a distance at night in a double volcanic winter. I don't think it doubles, does it? Maybe it does double. But it's dark 26% out. It's dark. And so that's it for now. Yeah, we dug storage and we dug this entertainment room, dug a spare food ball, dug storage, and built a gorgeous hospital which I'm really pleased with. I mean, it's not gorgeous from the colonists' perspective at all. Let's just check it out. It is very impressive, luxurious, very spacious, neutral in beauty, and sterile in cleanliness. You can't get sterile without wasting all the silver on the sterile tiles. Support columns in the center. I'm going to leave them rock for now. To change the moat, what you do is you build one beside it, then you mine it out, and then you build one in its place. Bam, bam, clicky. 
and you just count your squares. I believe it's eight that the roof will collapse at. So everything has to be within eight, whether it's diagonal or sideways or whatever. If something's more than eight from a roof support in any direction, in in like in all directions, it'll fall. But if it's got a roof support in any direction, it'll stay up. So I was able to uh, do fairly limited roof support system in here. I've just got a star of them in here and it's still managing this quite large storage cavern. Colonists need treatment red down for asthma. We got a bed left but boy I'm glad we built a new hospital. We're getting big enough to need it. Like you see we're not even in combat and we've got four people down. It's a little unusual but it's really good to have capacity. They get better healing, they can get entertainment while they're in bed. It's good to have a hospital. It's sterile, so wounds don't get infected. Major break risk. That'll be Novak. Okay, he's consuming some berries. Novak, you're gonna have to handle it, man. I got nothing I can do for you. I can't give you a puff, because you will fall down. Like, you will fall down. What's Novak doing? She's hauling rice. Hauling rice by 56 to stockpile zone 4. Now she could have grabbed up all 75 of some rice, but I don't care. She's doing some work. Look at this. She's grabbing some chunks to haul. Good, good, good. This is what I needed done so bad. I'm so glad she came along. She's a strong back. She was a sailor, so she probably has a strong back. And uh, here she is, like just, and she's a jogger and she's on carry. Oh, I didn't realize my luck because she's a jogger and she's on primarily carry work. So what's she doing? Playing horseshoes. That's one of our few joy items. We got a horseshoes peg here. Granite horseshoes pin. She played a little horseshoes. Now she's selling some steel. I'm liking her more and more. She's new. She's the reason we came in and did this. She's new. Everything's getting along. Tailoring's cruising along. Cloth button down shirt going on. How's cloth? It's pretty good, I think. Yeah, we got 1755 cloth built up, and we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six cotton plants going in. Uh, and they're growing at 191% speed. Sass needs treatment down for asthma. Well, you know, asthma's not great because it does slightly reduce their working capacity, but small percentage. You tell it gets major, that's what we're saving the lungs for. But it's great because all your extra doctors who are only on two medical get to practice their skill. And here's Gorilla, he's only on two medical, but he likes medical, and he's now up to eight professional grade. So that means when a combat happens, all our backup doctors have decent skills because they're doing this constant bloody medical work. So asthma has a hidden advantage in that it really trains your doctor team. And the smoke leaf slows down your workers like terribly. Like there's Jerry, he's already got really slow moving speed, so when he's puffed one, he's just crawling. Novak, she's in and out between major and minor. So we'll take a look at her needs. Yeah, you know... Oh, somebody insulted her? Check her social. What jerkoid did that? That doesn't even say. Oh, she's gone to Major again. Yeah, she's just... That's okay. She'll be on her joy time soon. It's 2 p.m. Let's see. Let's see what her time looks like. Oh, no. She just started work for the afternoon. She's going to have to get through three hours of work on a Major break risk. And I can't take her out for a break. How's she for food? Should I send her to eat? Oh yeah, she needs uh heat it broke down. She needs to eat anyway, so let's check her location. She's right here, she's close. There's no meals. Dog, you guys need to cook. There's plenty of meals out here, even though we've got these stoves set lower, so No, I didn't mean that. I meant you to eat this luxurious fine meal, Novak. Get that good meal while it's there. I guess those must be made with milk, eh? Milk, berries, and rice. Yeah, that does sound pretty good. It's like a custardy sounding thing. So maybe we'll crank those stoves up one more nubbin button. Because I'm not seeing food in here, dude. So we're just going to take this up to 50. And we're going to take this up to 50. The other one's set to 48. So that's a, now a two wide gap. So I've actually increased the... Oh, Damn it, Gorilla Carcinoma. Are you kidding me? Okay. Operations. Whoops, wrong button. Oh, I hate it when this happens. We've been getting through it really good. But it can go really bad, too. 
So should we use the new hospital? Yeah. Gorilla. Oh god, uh, gorilla. Get in there, uh, Sass. What are your needs at? Uh, you need food, Sass. Bop in here and eat a good meal. Get that fine meal. Cause Sass has the best medical, I think, of everyone. She's at 16 and she really likes medical. So, damn, this sucks, dog. Sass, have you eaten? Yeah, good. No, you're not relaxing socially. Uh, Lilu, I don't think you can. No, Medicine 5, I don't think so. Drafted. Sass, please get this right. We can't. Well, we can lose Gorilla, but we don't want to, right? Lilu, go about your business. Okay, we're going to save in a pair of slots here just for safety. Rebel Base back and Kuel in itself. And we're going to let this happen. And if he dies, we're going to consider whether or not to be a big reloading bugger. Because it'll probably reload if he dies. I don't want him to die. Or if she wipes it out or whatever. I don't want it to happen, dog. Maybe I should have suspended that operation and done it after the episode, man. Nobody wants to watch me screw up a game repeatedly. But she's our best doctor. Damn, she killed him. Okay, guys. That's what happens. That's what happens. And uh, that's a terrible ending for an episode. That's, that's an unacceptable ending for an episode. So we're going to turn back time, as they say in like some song or some damn thing. We're going to turn back time. We're going to give her another chance. How is it that my prime surgeon kills someone doing a mere incredibly complex and difficult operation inside a lung to remove cancer permanently? Actually, that's pretty challenging. Pretty challenging. Maybe I should suspend this operation. See what happens. I don't want to end the episode on a death. That's not a cool ending. I like happy endings. Which is why people end up getting so old in my colonies. Because <laughs> the game will start throwing you more colonists if your colonists die. But if you want like 40 odd colonists... Well, you might have to nurse things along a little bit. Or, or start getting into spawning stuff so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and see what happens here and if it ends on a death it ends on a death well, maybe we should watch a dog go play no you know what a uh, lilu no dog no the hell <sighs> right so where i want to save the game is actually um why she moved the one medicine and got the other we'll never know where I want to save the game is actually in the middle of the operation. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to save the game right here. I'm going to save as Kulin. And we're going to see you guys all soon for the next episode. So until that time, bye for now.